check this out, Jamal. So I can't wait to ask you about this. So you bounced back um, from that fight after that, right? And then the next fight was to Ladarius Miller. As yeah, you that know, fight, hey, that fight I take harder than a damn shower call fight. <laughs> yeah. Man. And and let me and let me ask you, let me ask you this, man. When when you get the call about fighting Ladarius Miller, right? Is there something in y'all when y'all know you're gonna fight a Floyd Mayweather TMT fighter? Like, oh, I, I, I'm gonna get this uh, Floyd's F Floyd's guy, right? Because I've heard Floyd has a way of talking a little smack, you know, there at the pressers and stuff like that. Yeah, you, my 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 guy, gonna eat you up. So no, is there something a little bit extra about, about going against a Floyd fighter? No, for me, not even. Because like I said, I, I got a relationship with guys like Leonard Ellaby to this day. You know, even though Leonard was the enemy at the time. But, but, <laughs> but Leonard never he never came at me crazy or, or disrespected me. Like, Leonard even supported me when I, when, I won, when I won the world title. Still supports me to this day. But yeah. luckily, I, and I, I, I had to deal with that whole Floyd man with me, um, Floyd mess. Because Floyd wasn't at the time. He wasn't present at the time. Thank God. You know, I had to deal with that trash talking but from Floyd. I don't know if I can, you know, even, even being a Marine, can you handle that 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 that, that yeah. mouth from Floyd like that? But yeah. no, no, um, I didn't, I didn't deal with that. If anything, I was just thinking like, I was just just a fighter, um, you know, because I'm like, you know, I'm a I'm an Al Heyman fighter. Al Heyman has ties with Floyd, of course, so it, it, yeah. didn't, it didn't really, I didn't really look at it like that. But I took that fight hard because I felt that I did enough to win that fight, at mm -hmm. least, you know what I mean? And I, I think I took that fight. A lot harder than the Shabakov fight, the fight that I clearly lost. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. So and I was just like, I, I feel like if anything, I feel like I, I didn't get a fair shake with that fight. But again, uh, as another lesson that I learned on, on the way to the top. And as you've seen from after that fight, that's when I made all the changes. You know, I, I went right. from training with Mike Stafford to Brian Bowman McIntyre, as we know, who trains Terrence Crawford. Right. And you know, my guy Red Spikes, um, Isaiah Diegas, and those guys started training me, and then I. 